dare to think I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Caradon, the paragon smith, alive? Ah, there is a voice I recognize. Shell, the house of Kadash, step forward. You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? It has been so long. I made you into the golem you are now, Shale. But before that you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the void here in this very room, and put you into the form you now possess. The anvil of the void? That is what we seek. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the anvil of the void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible as clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homeland. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. I, trapped forever in my own a fitting punishment, I suppose. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shale. You remained at my side throughout, and at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, you fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! Speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. Listen, he's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! So it fights with Caradin? Good. That seems right. Have you no desire to discover this anvil's potential? It is a marvel, a tool of creation. Even the best of tools may be misused. This is a thing of blood magic, of destruction. Sometimes creation involves the destruction of one thing to make way for another. Tis a law of nature that death is the parent to life. 
If you destroy the anvil, I swear you will regret it. You would not dare. I would rather not find out. Fine. Destroy it if it pleases you. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Carradine. Golems, obey me!
Stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. How is it that the woman was not able to disable me as she did you, Carradin? I do not know. Have you been altered? I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories and caused you to remember the time when you fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the mass did perish. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman, Shem. I am pleased to see you remain such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me. All of this, this is my doing, my legacy. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. <laughs> yes, excellent idea. Just destroy it now, after all this. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Thank you. 